Hello, this is Paul Hamilton here. Let's take a look at how we can get our little coders to create a little sun safe animation in the new Scratch Junior app for iPad. So what I've got here is the cat that we can move around. At the moment, we've got a blank background. So I'm gonna press the little background at the top and I'm going to press the little paint at the top right hand corner, the little paintbrush. Now for this one, I'm gonna press the camera um, down the right hand side and I'm going to touch on the screen to activate the camera. I'll turn the camera around and I'm going to take a little picture here of my sun hat and just press the camera and it's taken a little picture and all I need to do now is press the ticky box. Now I've got my cat and my hat ready to tell a little story about sun safety. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring in a um, our first little action, which is a tap on the cat to get things moving. Then we're gonna press on the blue arrow to get the movement and I'll bring down just the move forward and we might change that one to about, uh, about nine. Um, it's always good to encourage our students to actually test that out. So we'll have a little tap on the cat and there he goes and moves. Fantastic, we'll hit the green at the top to move him back and we've got our first little part of our animation. So what we need to do now is we need to actually find um, an ability for the cat to actually communicate. So we could do a little sound recording or we could actually do a little text. So I'm gonna bring over the little high button here and what that allows me to do is actually press on high and to type. So I might put uh, this capital letter this is a hat, and I'll put a full stop. We want to keep it quite simple for our little students, so I'll press go. And once again, I'll actually test it, encourage our little coders to test as we go along, and we get a little speech bubble. So what we might get now is a little bit more movement, maybe move another three, and then we'll do another speech bring down high, and this is where we can encourage our students to be really um, descriptive with what they're trying to tell about sun safety. So in this case, it might tell me what the hat does. The hat protects me from the sun. And once again, we'll press go, and we'll do a little bit of a test. So bring the cat back and press the tap, which is fantastic. We've got, this is a hat and then he moves a little bit more and it tells me a little bit more about the hat and what it does. What we wanna do now is we wanna bring in a new scene with a different, um, I guess a different object that helps us keep safe from the sun. So we're gonna press the new, um, the new scene, I guess, on the right hand corner there. And then we're gonna repeat the step that we did last time. So what we're going to do is press the uh, background. We'll press the paint brush we'll press the camera and tap on our screen and we'll take a little picture of a water bottle. So there's my water bottle, press the ticky box. And what we can do now is on this stage, we'll move our cat back to the side and we'll repeat the process. So we'll bring in uh, a move, maybe nine. Um, we might also bring in that tap of the cat there, and we'll bring in a little speech bubble as well to say, uh, this is a water bottle. A water bottle. Go. We might bring in a little bit more movement, and the kids can be creative with this aspect of it. We'll move another three, and then we'll do another speech telling me what the water bottle, bottle does, which um, might say it keeps me hydrated. That's pretty cool. Go and we're finished. I guess the one thing that we do need to do is link the first stage with the second stage or the scene. So I'm going to tap back on my first stage, uh, move my cat back to the start and there's one other bit of code that we need to do and it's this one, the red one here. And what that will do is actually if we drag down this one, it'll actually go to the next scene. So that's something that we need to do so that it jumps onto the next scene. And there'll be nothing there if you haven't created the two scenes. So um, if there's nothing there, you need to create your scene first and then do a little link there. So let's test our whole animation out. We'll start with here. Cat moves across. 
it does its talking, gives me some really good information about sun safety. Um, then it actually jumps to the next, tap on the cat again, and then we've got a little bit more information about a water bottle um, and what it actually does. So we've got a great little animation. You can build some great digital storytelling here with um, Scratch Junior, getting kids coding, introducing them to code, looking at sequences and repeats and a whole range of different things. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.